So, EA dropped Future Stars swaps a few weeks ago. We're going to be discussing how many tokens are available and what to spend your tokens on in this video. The cheap, fast, and reliable foot coins. Check out u7buy.com. There is a link in the description. And use the code HABER to get yourself a discount on all of your orders. Now, if you didn't know, in the news section, EA dropped the swaps rewards. Now, the campaign will be going from February 11th to February 25th. So, I think it's like two weeks from Friday to Friday, um, I believe, and that's when you can start redeeming your tokens. How they work essentially is you get all your tokens through SBCs, objectives, gameplay and whatnot, and there'll be a swaps tab, as we see for icon swaps, and it'll essentially be the exact same thing as icon swaps. We had it for winter wildcard, um, and if you missed it for winter wildcard, it's essentially the same thing. So you collect all your tokens, and then when you decide what you want to put them in, like icon swaps, you'll decide, oh, I want 12 tokens for this. You go and put six and six in two different squads. It's really, really easy and really simple um, but that's essentially how it works and how you claim and use your tokens now there have been or there are sorry a total of 28 tokens available so we will get across the entire campaign a total of 28 tokens now they may put a couple in the store i don't know if they've announced that or not they may put a couple in the store uh, as they did with the winter wildcard tokens but in total there'll be 28 tokens available now these tokens are going to be ranging from uh gameplay related objectives to sbcs um we're going to be getting them in so many different ways now a couple of uh hidden objectives that i guess i'll show you guys not hidden necessarily but you may not know you can get um a token from so you can get a token from shalaba um and it is uh which one is it the one that gives you uh the there we go so it's this one um, so this one, you get a future star swap token, Rue J Moon for getting the 85 Shalaba. Um, so you actually get that for scoring in eight separate squad battle matches. Now, what's really interesting about that is that actually kind of links with another token. Um, and this one just came out, I think today, um, with the refresh of, uh, squad battles. And now you can actually get a token for getting gold three in squad battles. Now, will it show in the rewards? I believe it will. Um, so it's gold three or higher. So as you see, gold three or higher, you get yourself um, a younger, this uh, Future Stars uh, swap token. So you can actually do that in conjunction with Shalaba. So you'll get this on Sunday morning next week at 8 a.m. UK time when squad battle rewards drop. You'll get this token as well as if you do the eight, scoring eight different squad battle matches, um, you'll get the Future Stars Shalaba token too. So there are a couple of little hidden ones. Uh, we also have one in Silver Stars. Um, if you guys know, obviously, every week we get a Silver Stars SBC. Sorry, not SBC, objective. Um, we've got Gibbs White as well. We have got an Ojoski um, hidden, little hidden token there. Um, I like how EA kind of throw a little few hidden tokens here in there just kind of you know throw you off make sure you're checking everything so you you can basically get that for going completing um future stars as well uh they also have another one in the year in review um objective so play 10 matches and squad battles or rivals and you get yourself another token i like they, they kind of all interchange so the gold three in squad battles the shalaba objective and this guy you can get three tokens for doing 10 games doing the exact same thing so they actually kind of align um and they're in conjunction with each other so it's pretty easy um 10 games in total will get you all three of those tokens which is really nice um and then the silver stars really isn't that difficult either um it's quite easy to go and get that silver stars now they also have a couple of hidden ones uh, in the sbc section now um, some of you might already know, but the Lone Maldini SBC, I've already completed it, but the Lone Maldini SBC, as you can see, the little plus sign means you get a token for that as well. So I actually got a token for the Lone Maldini SBC. Any SBC that has a little plus sign in the top right of the actual icon means you get a token from it. So, Low Maldini got you a token. Um, if you guys didn't know already as well, Marky Matchups this week got you a token. Um, and you'll see it as well with the same icon. I've already done it again. Um, but Marky Matchups got you a token as well. Um, all of the Future Stars challenges so far have got you a token um, as per the little plus sign in the top right of those two. Um, there's actually a tracker, a really, really good designer by the name of Helmar Designs. I recommend following him on Twitter if you guys uh, are looking to stay updated. Helmar Designs. If I remember, I'll leave it in the, in the description down below has got a really cool tracker. So there's been 15 total uh, available so far. However, only nine are still available. So if you ever haven't got a single token yet, there are only nine still available. Um, but you have obviously the free gift for logging on, the mid Maldini loan SBC, the year in review milestone objective, silver stars milestone, marquee matchups, milestone Shalaba, future stars challenge two, squad battles gold three, and then future stars challenge three. He has a lovely tracker and it gives you exactly the dates as well. So this expires March 11th, February 10th, February 9th, etc., etc. Um, really, really good designer and great with um, sort of the the like trackers and whatnot. Now, I'll probably release a few more videos over on the second channel um, as 
we lead up to the sort of campaign start on February 11th, uh, basically going through, you know, what to take, what you shouldn't take, um, you know, how many, realistically, how many you're going to get and whatnot. Now, with a total of 28 tokens available, um, looking at the sort of rewards you can get, I like the idea of a Future Stars Team 1 player pick because there are some great players available. But there are also some pretty terrible plays available. Now, I don't know how many players are in that player pick. If it's three or four, it's not a bad shout to go for. But if it's like two, I probably wouldn't go for it. Uh, I like the look of that Gallagher card. I think he looks pretty decent. Uh, you know, we've got the 85 times 10, which I'm personally going to go for because I just like the 85 times 10. It's great for any kind of promo. You're almost guaranteed a promo card. I say that. You're not actually at all because it's EA. But... You have a really good chance of getting a promo card with any 85 plus times 10. So um, that's why I always like to go for that. Uh, you've also got some other nice packs in there. You've got a Future Stars Team 1 pack. you got the Ultimate packs and whatnot. So what I would personally go for, if it was me, I think I'm going to go for the 85 times 10 and the Future Stars Team 1 pack. Now that only leaves one single token discrepancy. You can only afford to miss one single token if you go for that, which is quite tough. Actually, I've almost missed two or three tokens myself. I think I've got like nine tokens so far. Um, let me have a quick look and I'll, I'll, I'll check actually how many tokens we've got. They don't have the actual card type in the database yet on here. So you just have to go special, low to high and filter through all your Libertadores and Sudamericana players. Um, so I have got a total of 11 tokens so far. Um out of a possible 15. Uh, now, I need to get the three gameplay ones as well for Shalibur, Mar uh, for Shalibur, um, Shalibur year, in re year in Review Milestone and Gold 3 Squad Battles. And then I've also got the one for Silver Stars. So I have 11 plus the four that are available so far. I can get the total of 15 that are currently available right now. Um, so I haven't missed any yet, luckily. Um, make sure to check which ones you've got because they're all the same player for everybody. Um, so if you haven't got any of these players, you may have missed one. Um, hopefully you haven't. Make sure to check Helmar's uh, graphic to make sure you haven't missed any. Um, but yeah, so I am personally going to try and get myself the Future Stars Team 1 pack and also the 85 times 10. That's what I'm going to go for. Um, but if you obviously need a Premier League midfielder, that Gallagher card will be fantastic for you. You know, if you're looking for just trying to get a player from Team 1, maybe you're a big Bellingham fan, maybe the player picks one for you. Uh, maybe you just want to go with Frimpong and get yourself a couple of packs as well. You've got the Rare Players pack, you've got the Ultimate pack, you've got the 81, 29 times 10, the 85 plus. Um, so there's actually some really nice options you can go for there. Um, and I would say wait until we see sort of the stats on Frimpong and, and Gallagher and whatnot to decide whether or not you want to go for those cards. This is currently not related to the actual tokens themselves, but I thought I would kind of let you guys know what this is all about. I, we've had this in the past as well um, with, with the Fire and Ice promo. We had like different... Um, mini releases with that so uh the way this works is very simple um the top line are the ones we've got in packs now until uh friday and then the bottom line are what we're gonna get on the next sunday until the following friday so at the moment we can pack either ferran Torres striker card elmas uh cdm or tomiyasu right back card and then um next sunday we'll be able to pack the right wing ferran Torres, the cam elmas or the center back tomiyasu card so those are currently available and will be available in a week's time um that's pretty much how that works it's kind of just um like last year how we got like like two different versions. We got a CDM Reese James and a right back Reese James, for example, or a right back Dallow and a left back Dallow. EA likes to sort of mess around and give you guys two different versions of certain cards. So that's what the mini release is for this year. Um, and uh, I'm assuming next week uh, we'll just get this as the mini release and no other players, which I kind of wish they'd throw maybe a one or two more players in, but knowing EA, they'll probably only release this and we'll probably get some SBCs with more player picks available. But I can't lie to you, Future Stars is one of my favorite promos of the year. I really enjoy getting new cards, um, trying some new cards out. I think the Shalibur, SBC, uh, Shalibur objective is really cool. I'm going to complete that. Um, just in general, I do really like uh, Future Stars as a promo. It's really fun. Um, and I think the Future Stars swaps and just in general, the swaps, um, the sort of swaps, I guess... What's the word I'm looking for? I guess just the swaps feature is really fun. Added to promos. It just adds a bit more of a dynamic. Um, there's way more to grind gameplay-wise, which is fun for a lot of players. There is, I think there's like different types of players in Ultimate Team. You've got the kind of player that just sits back and opens packs and just enjoys opening packs. And you've got the type of player that uh, will actually enjoy grinding swaps and things like that. So I think there's uh, enough for everybody. I'm probably just going to open this pack as well for my, for my Future Stars Challenge and see what we get. And it's a board. Brilliant. So, yeah. Um, that is it for this video. Hopefully, it was helpful to you guys. If you guys did enjoy, please leave a like down below and subscribe if you guys aren't around here. Thank you all for watching. Uh, subscribe to the tech channel as well. Link in the description. I'll be posting more videos on that with Future Star Swaps. And I'll see you lads later.